Now, Travis, it's not that I can't count. What I'm actually trying to describe you is these actually numbers all have something in common, which we need to remember, all right? Because what we're going to be talking about today is there's something really, really important, all right? If you guys think about these, all these numbers are what we call prime numbers. And if you remember, when dealing with prime numbers, what a prime number means is you can it's only factors or it can only be divided by itself and one. There's no other number that goes into it besides itself and the number one. So here is a list of the first six prime numbers, all right? And this is just an example that I want to show you. Because if you look at it, if you try to look for what other numbers can you divide into these numbers, the only one numbers you can think of are, well, the only numbers that multiply to give me 11 are 11 times one, seven, seven times one, five times one, and so on, right? Now let's take a look at the numbers that we omitted in those first couple. Well, the first number I omitted was four. Then let's take a look at six, eight, nine, and 10, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on factoring. So when you have numbers that are not prime, what we wanna do is we're gonna work on factoring. And what factoring is going to do is we're gonna take the factors, the numbers that you can multiply to get a number, and write it as a product of those factors, all right? And not even so much just writing as a product of those factors, but a lot of times when we factor, we want to write it as a product of all the prime factors, which is called prime factorization. So here, we know we can do four times one, right? But is four, is that a prime number again? No, so we can factor this down to two times two. So now what that is, is this is a product of the prime factors of four, okay? If I say factor six, that means break it up into two numbers that are prime. Well, you can rewrite six as a product of two prime numbers, three and two, okay? This is a fun game. I didn't get to, the game actually didn't start yet. I'm mean, ah. oh, sorry. So therefore, now we have number eight. This is actually just the like teaching you, and then we're gonna show you. So for number eight, if I rewrote it as four and two, are four and two both all prime both prime numbers? No, you can still break down two again, right? So the prime factorization of eight is gonna be two times two times two. Alright? Because all two is your prime number. And if we're gonna do nine, that's just three times three, and ten would be five times two. And you notice, I just need you guys to get your head. Just to make sure that when you're writing that, though the numbers that you're making your product out of are prime numbers. Okay? Got me? Okay. So now let's start with the game. 